Uh, today's lesson is about those sea rascals of yore, pirates. Living lives of adventure and ill-gotten booty, they have sailed into the history books as legends of the high seas. Cool. In addition to attacking and robbing, pirates had to do a fair amount of navigating as well. Thus, they used many ingenious instruments to plan their course. The sextant, used to chart their position by measuring the angle of the sun or stars above the horizon. The magnetic compass. The needle inside is magnetized and points towards magnetic north. My dad and I use one of those when we go camping. And of course, the chronometer, which is like a very accurate clock. Ah, yes. Pirates! From the Barbary Corsairs to the Queen's Privateers, they were bold, ruthless, cunning, and stinky. I hear they weren't big on that. And here is an example of the type of ship pirates may have sailed in the 1500s, a galleon. Now, pirates had one goal in mind as they set out to sea. Treasure! <laughs> I would have made a great pirate. <laughs> but let me caution you. While pirates may seem like romantic figures, one must remember that their treasure had to come from somewhere. Pirates were little more than thieves and bullies with no regard for anyone but themselves. They stole for a living, and everyone knows stealing just isn't right. There have been pirates since the beginning of recorded history. In fact, they still exist to this day. I wonder what modern pirates look like. <laughs> you're probably wondering why you're upside down. I am kind of curious. We decided to become pirates, and you are our first victim. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. So is that all the loot? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Thanks. Hey. You guys can't just let... Sure we can. We're pirates. Who's gonna stop us? Well, y you see, uh, school policy strictly forbids this sort of... Whoa! Hey, that's my brother. Oh, put me down! They took my favorite necklace. Now that is rotten. <gasps> <gasps> Looks like we have some real live pirates on our hands. You know something, Reticus? I'm beginning to think that there is hope for our school system yet. <laughs> Those guys are low-down, dirty sneaks. They're no better than Earl. What did she say? She said they were low-down, dirty sneaks. I heard her. No better than me. Why, my stellar villainy is leaps and bounds above their amateurish thuggery. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> I'll show them just how low down and dirty the Phantom can be. if you count the hallway. Great, Phantom. I mean, Captain. So what can I become? You? You can become quiet. All right, then, you can be a rat. I always have to be the rat. <gasps> I'll be your parrot. Pirate parrots always sit on their master's shoulder, no, Captain. Stop! Oh! Billy, are you all right? Relax. I'm getting used to this. I am Sir Rodrigo. Your Rodrigo. First mate to the most dreaded pirate captain of them all, Captain Peach Fuzzbeard. And if there's one thing Captain Peach Fuzzbeard hates, 
It's stowaways. <gasps> uh, there must be a misunderstanding. We're not stowaways. If I could just see your captain for a second... Nobody <gasps> dares disturb the captain! He hasn't left his cabin since we set sail. Legend has it that he's seven feet tall, with a flaming beard and eyes. Oh, his eyes are black as coal. In that case, maybe you could give him a message. There'll be no time for <gasps> messages! You'll all be put to work so you can earn your keep. Well, if you're to be pirates, then best you look like pirates. Hey, not bad <laughs> at all. Um, excuse me? There is no way that I'm wearing that scarf. It'll totally ruin my hair. And this vest? Ugh, talk about tacky. I want something more stylish. Like what you're wearing. Well, I'm... stylish? Oh, well, <laughs> you think? Oh, yeah. It'll look great with all the jewelry I'm going to find. You've got the attitude of a true pirate. Thanks. We're already pirates, and we think this is totally great. We stole lots of things from the other kids. Tell them, Rod. Or Lots of things, you say. Uh-oh. Hey, we bought those slingshots and jawbreakers with our own money. Oh, uh, yeah, that's our stuff. Not anymore. Uh -oh. You're cabin boys now. So, get to swabbing. Now, start swabbing! As for the rest of you scurvy swine, you'll be helping Cookie in the kitchen. You'll be doing the laundry. And you'll be polishing the anchor. <laughs> and you, you'll be counting the treasure. Yes! You can start by sorting the loot we already stole. Scurvy pirates now! Yes, Phantom. Scurvy pirates. They're scurvy pirates now. They'll roam from port to bow. They're cranky and they're lanky because they're scurvy pirates now. <laughs> they're scurvy pirates now. They'll sweep and shine the bow. They're grouchy and they're yeah, slouchy because they're scurvy pirates now. <laughs> Miserable. <laughs> Look at this emerald! Well, three out of four ain't bad. Now to set sail for untold treasure! Rodrigo! Aye, Captain! Do you have the map I gave you? I have her right here, Captain. Then set sail for the first island I've charted. Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> <laughs> It's time for raiding parties! Ooh, I love parties! Are we gonna get loot bags? You bet your blunderbuss we will! Bags and bags of loot! That sounds great! Now, some of you may be first-time pillagers. What's a pillager? <laughs> <laughs> Someone who robs and steals. Mm, I haven't done much of that. That's all right. We're gonna use the buddy system. I want all of you first-time pillagers to partner up with an experienced pillager. Hey, wait a second, wait a second. What you're doing is really rotten. When you steal, you're not just taking things, you're hurting others. Ooh, we're hurting others. <laughs> we like hurting others. And we'll start with you if you don't pipe down. Science Lab Island, dead ahead. Science, Science Lab Island? Oh, the approaching galleon is a large square-masted vessel which was used for both commerce and war in the 16th century. <laughs> Sorry about this, Mrs. Snodgrass. Pirates favored a variety of different ships, including Dutch hoys, brigantines, and of course, the French shallops. Say, uh, Captain, why are they raiding the science lab? There's no treasure there. Maybe not jewels or gold doubloons, but something infinitely more valuable. One of my early scientific creations, a molecular integrator, a precursor to my EnviroMaster. <laughs> I've been waiting years to get my hands on it. Thank you for the enlightening experience! And feel free to return my watch to the teacher's lounge! <laughs> no questions asked! This is terrible. I'll say. All we got was a bunch of crummy science equipment. Not one diamond or gold cup. What a ripper! 
Here's the plan. If I can figure out the location of Earl's headquarters, we can drop anchor, flood him out, and save ourselves. But how can you do that with your mini Mega Mind all locked up? Like Mrs. Snodgrass told us, these are navigational tools. I can use them and the positions of the sun in the islands to map out his approximate location. Everyone just has to play along for now. All right, you landlubbers. Get this uh, so-called treasure down into the hold. Next up, the treasures of Gym Class Island. <laughs> the treasures of Gym Class Island? What, old gym socks? No, something more valuable than a king's ransom. I have my sight set on the calculator my old phys ed teacher confiscated from me one afternoon. You know, Captain, when a teacher takes something from you in class, technically it isn't yours anymore. It becomes school property. Well, then, when I take it back, it will become my property, won't it? I say, are you sure you're reading the right map? Of course I'm reading the right map. What is it? Begging your pardon, Captain Peach Fuzzbeard, sir. Uh, but your treasure map has uh, turned up um, some mighty slim pickings. You dare question my authority? Do you want me to come out there? All seven feet of me with my blazing beard and eyes as black as tar? Cool. Eh? Your eyes as black as coal. Right, Cole? Do I have to come out there? No, Captain! Then set sail for Mulligan Island. What's at Mulligan Island? My permanent record. Once I have that, I'll be able to remove the one blemish from my otherwise spotless record. That embarrassing D in shop class. Man, I bet you wish you had your mini Mega Mind now. Uh, actually, this sextant was the mini Mega Mind of its day. It's quite a clever device. Yeah, right. Ha! I'm done. I figured it out and I marked it with an X on this map. Now we've got to convince the pirates to use it. That's not going to be easy. Before we do that, we've got to convince Ruby to come with us. Hey! My necklace! Marcus has figured a way to get us off this ship. Get us off the ship? Why would we want to do that? Because these pirates are a bunch of thieving scoundrels. You guys are overreacting. They're not so bad. Not so bad? Can't you see what they're doing is wrong? All this treasure came from people these pirates bullied. Ugh, now you made me lose count. I have to start all over again. One, two, three, four. Oh, hi, kids. I see Mr. Needlenose took my advice about the spring musical. <laughs> oh, I love the Pirates of Penzance. Get to it! Uh, Principal Mulligan, we need to blindfold you. Of course you do. Oh, a good game of hide-and-seek promotes good principal-student relations. <laughs> I guess this is a game where they hide all of my things. <laughs> I really must keep up to date. All A's and a D in shop class? Arr! This side bottom fella was a real nerd. Did he just call me a nerd? Uh, no, Captain. I didn't hear nerd. I heard uh, murd. Murd? Well, that's not so bad. Pass me my thesaurus, will you? We've had nothing but bad luck since we've took you on board. So I guess it's time you let us go, huh? <laughs> I hope you brought your bathing suits. Because you'll be walking the plank. <laughs> all right, everybody. I'm supposed to bring you up on deck. The first mate says it's time for you all to go for a walk. <laughs> How about a compromise?
compromise. We're willing to start at a lower salary. <laughs> ah, well, maybe they'll have better luck in their next career. A shark food! <laughs> what happened to my fearsome claw-like hand? <gasps> Oops, sorry. I had to scratch those hard-to-reach places, Captain. Ah! <gasps> Have you anything to say before he walk the plank? Yeah, it's a shame Captain Peach Fuzz Beard never gave you the real treasure map. What? What? I guess he just wants to keep it all for himself. Oh, you're trying to pull the wool over me eyes. I have the map right here. We found it down below. Rodrigo, I command you not to listen to them. Don't make me come out there! I dare you to come out. <laughs> I'm waiting. I uh, can't. I, I have scurvy, and I'm afraid I'll give it to you if I come out there. Sounds like he's got something to hide. <sighs> we'll give you the map if you let us go. I can just take the map anyway. Well, then, you'll never get all of the other treasure maps I hit. If the map is real, then you'll live. But if the map is fake, we're gonna come back and make you wish you had walked the plank. Ruby, this is your last chance. What future is there hanging out with a bunch of pirates? A future filled with treasure. <laughs> You two! Get over here. You do nothing but eat gruel and salt pork all day. And as for Swabin, my mother did a better job when we captured her. You're fired! Can we keep the mops? Get them out of here. Oh! 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 You guys can quit doing that, you know? We're not taking any chances. Take a good whiff, Ruby! Showers won't be invented for another three centuries! Think about it! I want that! Eh, give me that! Eh, give it to me! Oh, um, excuse me. That belongs to my brother. Not anymore, it don't, mate. Hey, that mini Megamind means a lot to him. Rule number one. We don't care about other people's feelings. Oh, you've still got a lot to learn about being a pirate and stealing. Hey, where did you get that? It's mine. Hey! It's mine, hey! Hey! My pirate career is over. I'm out of here. Ah! <laughs> Shark! Come on, hurry up! Let's Just go! Let's go. Fast. We've got to help her. Hey, Ruby, you can do it. I have an idea. Grab that rope. It's what I do. This is the spot! Way I go, me hearties! Beard, it is my duty to inform you that as a rat, I am absolutely sure that the ship is sinking and I'm feeling a sudden urge to desert. You're not a rat! You're a parrot, remember? So just keep bailing! Once we return these fast Principal Mulligan's office, everyone will have their stuff back. What's the matter, Ruby? Well, I just wanted to say thanks for saving me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. I thought being a pirate would be really glamorous and exciting, but it wasn't. 
was really awful. And I don't just mean the food. You were right, Lydia. Stealing is a rotten thing to do. Our stealing days are over, too. Uh, we're quitting before we get caught. Uh, speaking of getting caught, your past misconduct still requires a little restitution. Oh, man. Another one for the files of the flying rifle. Well, I'll say one thing. They're getting pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs>